Hello all, welcome back to Dr. Fishing. Uh, today we are trying to recreate a video that I lost during the production stage. Uh, we will be catching uh, trout using spoon and cheese marshmallows. Uh, I want to show you guys a um, catch and cook. Uh, we are fishing at Risa Lake today. Uh, it is stocked with um, different uh, trout species mainly. Rainbow trout, uh, tiger trout, brown trout. The brown trout and tiger trout, they were introduced very lately, like uh, uh, two weeks ago. And this lake is stocked with some uh, 40,000 um, rainbow trout too. So the fish caught today are really, really small. Because it has been just stocked with some uh, rainbows. And I'm mainly using spoon for fishing. When you would like to catch trout, you have to cast it out too far and reel it slowly. And that way you can create a good presentation to the fish. And my wife is using uh, marshmallows in a pickerel rig and it has been noted that there was lots of bites, lots of activity today. It is almost the time for winter but the temperature wasn't too bad for today. They were just biting like birds. So about um, the presentation, you should be using a, a smaller size spoon too. The temperature over this recent lake today was 15 degrees. That was extraordinarily different. This fishing season from last July, I would say, like I caught like five fish all together in that eight month period. But today I was so lucky that I got a lot of fish. I'm going to keep a few fish just to show that catch and cook for you guys. Otherwise, I would have released more, all of them. I was really wondered why they are biting onto the spoon like these fish are really really small and they are still biting onto the spoon. They must be hungry. It's almost time for their winter sleep I guess. So we, we kept a few fish today unfortunately just to show that catch and cook so we are we are actually baking this fish you can get rid of the the tail and the head if you like and we will be using an east indian uh, preparation today You have to marinate it with uh, your own spices. I'm using here like turmeric powder, chili powder, salt and pepper and vinegar and oil to marinate the fish. I don't know if you can stand all the spices. So make sure you are using um, the spice of your choice to marinate the fish.
and keep the fish after it is painted with the, the spices for about like one hour in the fridge I will be using garlic, ginger, uh, pepper, everything to be minced really good and in a heated oiled pan you have to salute all these ingredients and add some curry leaves and some green pepper and add onions to make the gravy once the onions are red or brown you have to put some coriander powder fish masala um, salt and pepper turmeric etc now that the spices are well cooked add some tomatoes and close the lid and let the tomatoes cooked enough and spread the mixture onto a aluminum foil and let the fish sandwiched between the gravy put some more curry leaves to taste Put some more coconut oil for the better taste. Now you need to wrap the aluminum foil and bake in a preheated oven of 350 degree Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes or until it's well cooked. Now that our fish is all ready to go, you can eat the fish with uh, some local tapioca or mashed potatoes or even with rice rice and fish or fish and chips whatever the way you like to eat the fish it will be spicy this way so you can just use a uh, butter uh, mayonnaise salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder to paste it and use some breadcrumbs uh, and bake it just like the way it is and it's gonna taste like anything so thank you for watching dr fishing i will come to you with another next video thank you bye